All right, I gotta get uh, JP's pocket screwdriver out of the car here. It's in the front seat. He's been carrying the same screwdriver in his front pocket for like 20 years, so I don't wanna be the guy that loses that. So we'll get it back to him right quick. Don't be careful. Oh, we will. Here's your screwdriver. City, Kentucky Dragway, and I got the car unloaded, but the first thing I need to do is poop. Alright, I think I have everything ready. Uh, tires are checked, batteries plugged in, uh, the other odds and ends, I think everything's addressed for. Sam's back there whipping up some hot chocolate because it's a little bit chilly. And once that sun goes down, it's gonna be really chilly. So it's better for the car, but now you're not gonna be able to hear me. We'll be back in a minute. All right, we're staged up. There's a little delay. I'm not really sure what we're waiting on, but uh, they got us waiting here. We're about to make the first run. I think they're getting going now. Okay guys, I realize after making that run that I forgot to take this out. So, I mean, roast me in the comments if you want, but I forgot. It is what it is. We're all learning here. Idiot! So if you watch the slow-mo, you can see the car still has a bounce. It unloads the suspension and spins the tire just a hair. It's dark and I literally can't see this, <laughs> so I don't know what I ran. Did you see it? I think it was a 621. 6.21, sorry. I can't see this time slip. Reaction 02, not a bad reaction time. Uh, 621, 111. Okay. I mean, that's. I it's, haven't reviewed it's the footage, but it doesn't look like you. Like. I think it spun a little bit. I think with, there's too much air in the tires for one. Oh. Because I didn't lower the uh, tire pressure, but it felt like it was moving around a little bit. I need to look at the video, but I don't know. It def it slowed down a hair, which is strange. It shouldn't have slowed down. I wouldn't think in this hair unless it spun the tires. So.
probably not taking this bad boy out had something to do with me slowing down as well, but what can you do? We'll see. We'll have to run another one. Is it still recording? Nope. And um, see if it does the same thing and then go from there. With less air? Yeah. Yeah. If it runs the same thing, then it's strange, but it, it'll probably speed up if we hook up a little better. We'll see. No chili dogs today, but these are fantastic. And they give you a more than appropriate amount of powdered sugar, which is always my argument with funnel cakes. They definitely know how to do things right here at Kentucky Dragway. All right, we're going up for round two. Uh, there was a long, long delay for a cleanup. Somebody oiled down the track. So uh, we've been sitting for quite a while. Um, we made a shock change. Uh, We'll see if it is better or worse. And then I actually have the tires at the right pressure this time, so hopefully they won't spin. And uh, and we'll see what happens. <coughs> All right, update. We've been sitting here for 84 years. It's been 84 years. Uh, there are a lot of cars here, so it's taken a long time to get through the lanes, and it is not warm. It's cold. No good lighting in the lighting. truck. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> after the second run, uh, I've been playing with the shocks, and obviously I don't know what I'm doing because the car just lit the tires up right after it, it planted for like a hot second, and then came up, it did the bounce again, and then it just spun the tires. So I'm gonna change it in the other direction, and I think it'll work, or it might not. I don't know. We're gonna at least do one more run and then we will see how it goes. But it's getting late, uh, it's cold as balls out here. And I think after this run, we're gonna call it a night. All right, about to make the third run. I'm sitting in the lane. Up, uh, I'm first in line this time, but we still have to wait on the, I think trophy class and they're doing some, a gambler's race. So I'll be up in a minute. We'll see if it sticks this time. And then uh, if it sticks, we're rolling cold outside. All right, Joseph Means out of uh, Kentucky, 76 Vega on this side. And Justin Howard's a Trans Am out of Paintsville, Kentucky, over there on the right side. Well, there's a quick ride. 007 on the tree and 606, 113 miles an hour for the Vega. I rewatched the footage. You didn't like you hooked up perfect. It no ran spinning. The fastest mile an hour it's ever ran, and it ran a six oh four six oh six four, which is the fastest it's ever ran. Yeah, and ever. it launched like I've never felt it 
kick me back like that. It's I know. Flying. When I saw that number, I was like, it's holy flying. crap. And then on my way back, I reviewed it. And I was like, No, when I got down to the perfect. end of the track, I was like, that felt really <laughs> fast. That's the fastest it's ever felt. What was your miles per hour? 113, which is fastest it was before was 111. Yeah. So Johnny's going to be happy. Oh, and for it sure. felt, it planted so hard. Like, I'll, I can't wait to look at the video because it felt awesome. It was perfect. Like, exactly what it's supposed to do. It felt no great. squatting, no. Let's load her up and not break our backs like I almost did. So, I was so excited about how well the car ran on that run, I didn't even realize that that was my first double O light. So yeah, I realized that when we were off camera, but uh, oh well. I'm still very much a newbie. I'm figuring the car out, I'm learning. I got a lot of friends helping me, give me advice. Uh, I have the ultimate mentor in Johnny. Anytime I have a question, he pretty much tells me the answer. He's got about 400 years of experience racing. But that was my personal best on the light. That was the fastest time in the car so far uh, with that engine in it. We will eventually build an engine, uh, stick around, and eventually, when I can afford it, you guys will find out what that'll be. Unless we go down south, the weather's probably got us done racing for the year, but thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you guys supporting us. Keep liking, keep commenting on the videos. Uh, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys soon.